Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details, and today we're going to compare traditional clay bars versus the new Carbon Collective Exfoli clay block. I've never been a fan of clay mitts, and until now, over 10 years, I've always used a traditional clay bar. When Carbon Collective released their new Exfoli clay block just a few months ago, I had to give it a try. The traditional clay bar I'm currently using is made by Built Amber. I switched over to this clay around two years ago because you use it with water, saving you a few pennies on clay lube. Previously, I used the Meguiar's clay bar and quick detailer for the best part of 10 years. I've also tried various other clay bars, but the Meguiar's and Built Hamber I found to be the best. The clay bar stage is the last decontamination stage. By now, you should have fully washed the car, removed all traces of road tar, and also given the bodywork a full iron fallout remover treatment. The clay bar is now going to remove all final bonded contamination. Biggest tip for claying, and one that will make the process far safer for paint, make sure you've removed all traces of road tar, because if you don't, it will clog up the clay bar incredibly quickly and will no doubt scratch your paint. The Carbon Collective Exfoli clay block is a new polymer formulation created from open cell foam. The block absorbs the water solution and releases it during the claying process to prevent the panel drying out. The Exfoli block should be used on clean wet paint, use a strong solution of shampoo to lubricate the panel and block surface, bed the Exfoli block in on the glass first, then proceed to use the block on the paint. Work in straight lines with medium pressure, dipping the block into the wash solution after every panel to rinse and add lubrication. Never allow the panel to become dry. The exfoli block can be used multiple times, just squeeze out the excess water and store in the grip seal bag. I'm going to demonstrate both clay bars on fully corrected and soft paintwork. I'll apply the same types of pressure and straight quantities for each clay implement and act as if I am claying these areas as normal. After that I'll dry the paint and test number one will see if they've inflicted any scratches. The reason why the paintwork was corrected before this demonstration was purely to see if the contact made with the clay bar resulted in any fine scratches. I need to determine for my own needs how the Carbon Collective performs. You need to remember this would still be a preparation stage before machine polishing, so less marring the better, but there's a very high chance, particularly on soft paintwork, most clays are going to mar. Finish results and firstly the traditional clay and it proved very difficult in getting the incredibly fine marring to show up on camera. My findings were that the clay bar did mar the paintwork, but ever so faintly. At first I thought it was still 100% corrected, but after an incredibly close inspection I could see the lightest scratches in the paint you could ever imagine. <laughs> Moving to the Carbon Collective side and again it's an identical story. Just to reiterate, this paintwork is soft and after an incredibly close inspection, which unfortunately hasn't been picked up on camera, the clay block had marred the paintwork with the lightest scratches you could ever imagine. This takes me back onto the topic of clay being a preparation stage. If I were to clay this car before doing any type of paint enhancement or correction, there are much deeper scratches in the paint I'd remove. If the paintwork wasn't corrected before this demo, these minor love marks would have been camouflaged by the deeper scratches. So, why is the Exfoli clay block the latest and greatest? Well, due to the size and design of the Carbon Collective, it makes for a quicker claying process which is just as effective as traditional clay. 
The size allows it to be gripped more firmly, meaning the chances of dropping it on the floor are very slim. The foam allows constant squeezable lubrication and the clay block can be used multiple times. Down points, because of the colour black, it's impossible to see what type of contamination you are pulling from the paint. In favour for the traditional clay, you may feel as if you have more of a sense about when the panel is smooth and contaminant free. The Carbon Collective takes a bit of getting used to, my instinct is telling me the detailing purist isn't going to immediately take to the Carbon Collective clay block, but for the full time business owner, the Carbon Collective delivers the same results but quicker. I'll be honest, I didn't expect either clay bar to mar the paintwork and I'm putting this down to soft paint and the fact it was fully corrected, hence why they showed up. I've never had any trouble with built hamber or Maguire's clay in the past, but at the end of the day we're rubbing soft clay against soft clear coat, but the clear coat softer. The experienced detailing subscribers of this channel may agree that claying will mar, hence why you should only do it if you have to or if you plan to machine polish. I'll let you decide which clay bar you prefer and drop a comment below with your thoughts and let me know if you've used the exfoli block and tell me what did you think. As always, thank you for watching, drop the video a like and subscribe if you're not already. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.